Hi guys and welcome to this video, my name is Chris and this is Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, so in this video it's going to be uh, a little bit of a summary of all the videos I've done so far, just in starting your account and what to do with your account. Uh, because when you start it's going to be very overwhelming, there's going to be a lot of stuff that you uh, can do and can get into. Um, so yeah, let's just try and, try and break this down a bit so you can... Uh, so it's a bit easy to follow so you can get into stuff straight away. So the first thing you want to be doing is choosing your champion. Obviously you're going to pick Kale because he's <laughs> the the overall, like, the better champion. Um, he is a very good starting farm, farming champion to level up all your other champions. And he also has poisons which makes him really good in clan boss. Um, and he can also be used in endgame as well as a good DPSer. Uh, once you have your champion, your main well, the only thing you can do at this stage is campaign. And this is what you're going to be focusing on mostly is campaign until you get to uh, brutal, until we clear brutal, and you can start farming your champions. Um, so we're going to start off on normal. As you progress through the acts, you're going to be getting some some rewards for completing them, things that will help you along the way, um, and these are going to be some gear sets and some champions these are going to be the biggest help to you uh, but your general focus is on campaign um, along with the campaign you can get challenges challenges are a good way to keep keep track of these challenges they're in uh, four different areas uh, artifacts are mainly for campaign you're going to be farming these campaign pieces while you're doing your um, um, <laughs> these uh, <laughs> artifact challenges while you're doing your campaign uh, champions is something you can concentrate on um, when you're eleven in your champions. Uh, dungeons, we'll get to that a bit later. An arena, something also really helpful to to dip into. Um, so once you're while you're doing your campaign, you're going to be wanting prog to progress your champions. So progressing your champions is just leveling them up through campaign. And to this, you're going to be, want to be using XP boosts as soon as they become available, so it doubles your experience. And at the start of the game, you're going to be getting a lot of resources, a lot of energy, because you're going to be leveling up quickly. So that's the most ideal way to spend it is in campaign, because that's where you get your experience for your champions. Uh, to make your champions stronger, you are going to be wanting to uh, kind of venturing off into dungeons. And this is where we get to the to the keep. Uh, to ascend your champions, which is kind of inc which is increasing their base stats and giving them them little pink stars, you want to be doing arcane keep along with whatever affinity your champion is. Um, and they're all unlocked at the start, so you get a nice head start in ascending those champions. Um, so this is a good idea, but you don't want to go over the top just enough to give them their ascensions that they need. And then there's also Minotaur's Labyrinth. Uh, Minotaur's Labyrinth increases the masteries of champions. These give them additional benefits to their um, to their attack. There's a or whatever the role they're taking. There's an offensive tree, a defense tree, and a support tree. Um, as an example, Kale is attack. So we're going down the offense tree, and we're only aiming to get the first few lines of masteries and not even all of them uh, this is yeah, easily enough just for what we want to do you could go for the that one as well um, but to start off with these are basically three damage boosts you're going to get a crit rate plus 5% and a crit damage plus 10% on this side we get plus 10 accuracy and if we got went for that one as well we would get plus 20 accuracy if the champion has no cooldowns which is always helpful. It's very useful considering this guy applies poisons. His third skill, uh, which is generally what you can be using it on, applies four has a chance to apply four five percent poison debuffs, which is really good. Um, also, while you're going through the campaign, you want to be leveling up your artifact sets. Um, the top three do, do not matter as much. You just want to get them as high starred as possible. Uh, trying to snipe out decent substats to have on your gear. Speed is always good. Um, that's speed as well. 
Um, as it's an attack type champion, you want something like crit rate, crit rate, crit damage, speed, uh, attack percentage, stuff like that. These three at the bottom are slightly more different. These require uh, different stat types on them. Uh, the recommended formation for these, especially starting off with, is speed on the boots. That one there. Uh, attack percentage, or whatever the main stat of your champion is, either HP or defense as well. And crit rate for the gloves. As you move up, you can move that switch that crit rate into crit damage. You'll be getting most of your crit rate from your other pieces of gear. Um, if you get stuck on what gear to equip your champion, uh, if you just go into this refuse button here and then move on to their recommended artifacts, it'll kind of give you a bit of a breakdown on what you could equip your champion to get a decent output. Um, you can follow these, uh, th just be have this in mind. This is just a little guide. Uh, you mainly want to be concentrating on these figures here speed, attack, attack percentage, crit rate, just to give you an idea of what stats you want in those slots. Um, like I say, gear sets can be changed, you don't have to stick to them, but definitely doubling them, them up, um, get their bonuses helps a lot, especially with the offense tree straight away because that gives 15% extra attack. Um, attack your offense set, uh, your speed set, and your, I think, I believe we've already gone past it, your crit rate set are going to be the strongest sets to have at the start of the game and those are the sets that you want to be aiming for um, you also equip, equip accessories to your champion um, which is just another abuse to the stats on your champion okay um, once your champion hits max level you need to Feed it other champions of that level to uh, enable him to increase in rank, which is your star rating. So, for example, we have this two star champion, which is level 20. In order to turn into a three star champion, we need to feed that champion to two stars, and that's in the rank up section. And that increases their champions. Star rate into three, which just uh, enables it to get higher base stats as we level it up. Uh, so that's what you're looking to do with your main champions that you use for your campaign, um, and kind of leveling up ones that you're not going to use to use as food to feed into these champions through the upgrade rank tab. Um, another way to empower your champions is to upgrade skills. Now Kale will be the champion that we're going to be using, so we can use these. These are rare skill tomes and we're just going to be throwing one into him to upgrade his skills to make him a lot more powerful so on that skill it increases damage by five percent um we do have an epic skill tome here word of warning do not use this on rare champions this is this should be used for epic champions only because these are really hard to come by uh, as a free to play player same with ancient tomes only use them for legendary champions because they are very extremely hard to get. Um, and we've gone over ascension. Once you've got your potions from your dungeons, this is where you ascend your champions. So you pick the champion you want to ascend, make sure you got the potions, and then click ascend. If not, you can click on that button and you can go straight to the dungeon. It was open. Um, <clears throat> so that's powering up your champions. So while we're progressing through the campaign, while we're leveling up our champions, upgrading our artifacts, uh, by upgrading our artifacts, uh, generally as well, since you will be uh, a bit silver staffed at the start, especially if you're upgrading accessories, um, I wouldn't recommend in leveling all artifact artifacts up to level 16, only Probably the ones on your main champions, if they've got the stats you want, such as attack percentage, speed and crit rate, then take them up as far as they go. And that's going to increase your damage a lot. If there were stats that you weren't really um, wanting, but just using them to fill a slot, such as, I don't know, like HP boots, I wouldn't recommend taking them up at 16, maybe 8 or 12, 
just so you can have them there to complete a set or um, yeah, just fill a gap until you find a replacement. Word of warning, if you're feeding any champions into your main champions, uh, just be careful to make sure you, they don't have any artifacts on them already. If they're useful, remove them. If not, you can just get rid of them that way. Um, okay, so always check your challenges. Make sure you kind of like correspond to what you're doing with these challenges and these give you extra rewards such as silver, energy, and potions. And you could also get bonus rewards such as tombs when you complete the whole series of that specific task. Or shards, which are always nice to have. Um, spending shards, you will come across ancient shards at the start of the game. Um, my advice would be to use these straight away as you'll be increasing your rare champion roster. So the more rare champions you get, the more um, options you have in using those champions. Then you could get an epic or a, le or a legendary champion, which will help you so much more in this game. Um, sacred shards, I would advise to save those until a two times summoning event appears. Uh, and void shards, entirely up to you. These are rated highly. These do come with unique void champions in them. Um, which can be really powerful. You can wait for it, it. You can wait for a two times summoning event of the void variety. Or you can just pop them to see what, see how lucky you get for your champions. Uh, fusion champions as well. You can work towards fusing a champion, so it's always good to save your rares. Uh, Raz and Scarhide is a recommended champion to fuse uh, straight away. Always try and work on this champion. He will be a good, strong champion who will last you a long time. Um, arena arena is part of your daily quest and this helps fill out um, fill out your emblems so you can upgrade your stats on your champions so uh, yeah go for your arena in your daily challenge you need to do five battles a day um, so first fill out your defensive team pick your strongest champions in there and then go into the battle and the best thing to do with this is just trying to slope out teams that you know you can beat uh, so we've done all this already with this one so we've done all the ones that we knew we can beat these ones we're not too confident with so we're not going to fight these as this decreases our points so we just refresh we get a free refresh every 15 minutes and then just try and find out the weaker teams again to pick off don't think we have any in this one maybe that one i think we can do this one yeah. Um, <clears throat> as this is also a good way to climb up in ranks, uh, in tiers, in the arena. Um, and the other thing we want to be doing this for is emblems. Emblems increase your hall standing so you can increase stats for all your champions within that affinity um also you want to be mindful of clan boss now it's not super important from the start but the sooner you get into doing clan boss um, you can get daily returns from from doing that daily so <laughs> if that made any sense uh, so in order to do clan boss we need to join a, a clan um, so if that's logged for you, you can click on a button which says join. Would you like to find a clan? Uh, and basically, I can't go back into it, but if you follow that, you'll have a list of clans. You want to click on the like join one, a nice easy one to start off with. Unless you've got some friends that you like to play with, then you can try and join their clan. Uh, but you're just getting into ones just so you can start doing the clan boss to start off with. Um, so that's here. You want to start off on easy, see how far you get, try and build a team together. Um, the best thing you can do for your clan boss team, I've lost mine, is uh, try and build one with uh, a few defensive champions that are going to help make your other champions survive longer, your whole team survive longer, such as uh, defensive champions with a defense up buff uh, or shield buffs. 
or just anything for survivability and then you just want a few other champions that are going to be able to apply poison poison is going to be most probably your main source of damage especially with clan boss that's why kale is a good choice he's going to do a big chunk of damage with his poisons and it's worth trying to find another champion that does poisons as well to help fill that slot slot an early one is Out outlaw monk he is an uncommon champion you can skill him up by getting duplicates of that champion and he does a fair bit of damage as well um so as we're getting all these resources in we're doing our quests we're doing our challenges we're doing our new battle pass as well doing our daily challenges in these uh, just follow what they say click to collect your points once they're filled out and you can start collecting rewards and as we're getting these rewards done as well we are gaining gems gems is the highest resource in the game the most valued resource in the game and we're going to be wanting to spend those on our market unlocking all our slots on here this is a nice place to get some better gear sets and also ancient shards become uh, can often pop in here for set to purchase uh, the next thing we want to unlock with our gems is the mine we want to unlock this with 500 gems and then go through to level 2 and level 3 to unlock it fully and this is going to give us a return of 12 gems per day and after about three months we're going to start to see returns on that investment Spiron pit entirely up to you i haven't done this on my account but if you plan on playing for the long for the long run it might be worth unlocking these but as again is it worth the gems who knows that is completely up to you um and that is about it if we're acquiring acquiring any new champions um such as champions from do, just doing the campaign or champions from popping charts just have a little look have a look at their skills do these skills seem good to you and is it good for your team um don't forget it's four star and uh, four champions and campaign but five champions in dungeons you're always going to need that extra champion to help your team progress um so also check your daily login rewards because we have a few here which I haven't collected we get a free free champion after seven days which is nice we'll check your login rewards because and we start a new one here brilliant um because these are going to give you some nice uh nice bits of loot uh very well uh, a very nice bonus to start off with like i said this is up to 90 days so you're going to get some champions at the end of this which are going to be useful this is going to be useful for arena is going to be useful for clan boss and she's going to be useful for spiders dungeon that's their main uh, goal for those champions that obviously are better champions but these will give you a nice little head start with those areas um, so yeah that's kind of the breakdown of it concentrate on campaign always look to progress your champions and acquire new champions um do your dailies and your battle pass um do some arena battles do some clan boss uh, and that's basically it and have fun have fun with the game um yeah, I'll, there'll be a lot of videos out here that will tell you the best champions to do this or the best champions to do that but you know in reality you can only use what you have so make the best out of that they're also like uh champions that synergize well with other champions which don't get talked about a lot so you can basically make your make your own teams some of them will show really good promise in certain areas others will lack in others will lack in them areas but be better off in somewhere else um so you know this is really a game where you need to consider uh what skills a champion brings to the table does it work well well with your other champions and what kind of gear sets are best to use with this champion um but yeah there are a lot of possibilities and different combinations for teams um so yeah just have have a bit of fun with it try different things out and see what works best for you and hopefully you get lucky let's just do a little shard here so you guys, you guys can see what kind of stuff we can get 
We got a rare. We got an acolyte. He's got pretty low re reviews, to be fair. Pretty low ratings. Recommended HP defense speed. Um, there's a support champion. Builds that champion's turn meter by 25%, so he's going to be getting more turns. Uh, has a 75% chance of decreasing target's turn meter by 50%. And removes all debuffs on all alloys. Um, increases alloy attack in the arena by 30%. Um, so I'd actually say this this guy isn't too bad. Like he could do with uh, some better attack stats. Uh, on here, if he had a higher higher attack pool in in his base stats, then he would be uh, much better. But he does change the turn meter of the enemy. He can decrease the turn meter of the enemy and increase his turn meter. But yeah, just generally because he doesn't really, he's got this removes all debuffs on all allies, which is okay. But um, yeah, he's rated low for a reason. Uh, but good for. Uh, dungeon areas that need uh, their turn meter manipulating. Um, okay for arena as a staff team, but this guy is going to take you up to mid game and nowhere further, so probably not worth investing in at all. But okay to fill a slot if you're starting off and if needing an, another champion that has something unique to bring to the table. Um, okay, so that's it. That's just a quick summary of what kind of things you should concentrate on. Also, events you can, yeah. Whenever these c come up, it's always worth like trying to do these. But I wouldn't go like full out on these because, and un unless you know you can do them, these are sometimes hard to get. But just as long as you're aware of them, and you kind of like uh, concentrate, kind of move your. Um, what you're doing kind of like incorporate these events into that so champion training event just uh yeah work on your progress work on your champions and um, but you can switch from like ascending them to just going back into camp campaign and just leveling up other champions while you play that um just to you know get points in that to, to get a few extra items from it um and that is about it. Yeah, just keep on, just keep on grinding away, keep on evolving your champions. You know, this, this, this is a grinding game, so a lot of this is going to be repeating the same things over and over again, just to gain a little bit of power. Um, and it's a game that needs to be played over a long period of time. So there's no quick wins in this game, unless you get like a super epic champion from a shard if you get super lucky, but. You know, don't always stick to one thing. Try different things out. Try different champions. Try different sets. Just have fun with it and uh, enjoy. Don't feel pressured into buying any any of these packs that come up on the side. And do if you want, if you've got the money to spend. Um, but a lot of the times they're not worth it. It's all a game that's based on luck. Um. So yeah, so that's it from this video. Just a quick roundup, a quick summary of what to kind of like concentrate on, which is pretty much everything. But um, you know, as a free to play player, it's kind of you need as much resources as you can get. So trying to trying to take from all these areas um, constantly is a good way to go. It's gonna keep you in the game a little bit longer, and it's gonna help you progress uh, faster too. So. Good luck with your summons guys hopefully i'll catch you again in some more videos if any of this content helps you at all in any way then please click that like and subscribe button and always ring that notification bell to be notified on any future videos if there's anything in this video that you'd like me to go further into detail on just leave a comment at the bottom and i'll try and get a video out to cover that once again thank you guys hopefully see you guys hopefully see you again soon take care